Welcome to day 37 of the Sacred Pause. Thank you to our dear brother Marcel for his meditation last night. It takes phenomenal courage to do something for the first time. And for me, that was one of the most beautiful meditations I have ever done. Thank you, brother. I'd like to dedicate today's sacred pause to one of our very own, who we lost to spirit this morning, Damien Holland. Our brother Damien was one of the quiet observers on the Sacred Pause Forum. An incredibly spiritual soul, so wise, and the author of an inspired book, which was called Escaping the Cave. It was COVID-19 and the virus that gave him his stairway to heaven. So I'd like to start with a poem which I wrote in Damien's honour. Behold your beauty, soulmate, as your ship sails gently on. Through hallowed stars and sacred skies, your work on earth now done. May your stardust grace our heavens. May your wisdom seeds be sown. May your light shine bright forevermore as your soul sails gently home. Damien, may your ship sail gently into the ocean of stars, beautiful brother. Thank you for being part of the sacred pause. We know you live on in our hearts and in the heavens. Ram Dass said of death that it was like taking off a tight shoe for the person who dies. But what of the people who must receive the news? There are many people on this forum who have lost loved ones in recent days. And doubtless they would tell us it feels more like being punched in the face or in the heart than watching their loved one take off a tight shoe. Just as we cannot get our reptilian brains to process the infinity of the universe for its grandeur and immensity, our human mind finds it equally as bewildering to comprehend the fact that we may not see someone in their physical form again. But here... On day 37 of the sacred pause, we know that our human bodies are but a vessel for our souls. And if we transcend our serpent minds, see through the eyes of our eagle condor, it is clear that when the vessel of a loved one draws its final breath, their soul moves on to the next chapter in their great soul journey. Ramdas also said, when you extricate yourself from the solid identification with your body, you begin to have the spaciousness to allow for the possibility that death is a part 
of the process of life, rather than the end of life. Wise words, as always, from Ram Dass. And I would add to that, that their work on earth is done. And doubtless their passing was planned long, long ago. Probably in a collaboration between themselves and spirit. Equally, it's important to remember in these moments that our love for them in our hearts does not diminish with their death. If anything, I would argue that our love grows as we ponder their life and the work they have done and the gifts they gave us to help us on our way. So, in honour of his everlasting spirit and as proof that he still walks among us our dear brother Damien's legacy to us today is the recital of the last message he ever sent to me which I want to share with you now take it away Damien I think I understand now what is the deep hunger and desire which assails us in all experiences of beauty. It is the nostalgia for home, for the never quite forgotten bliss we have had to leave. It is the pain of comparing the earthly with the unfading knowledge of the heavenly. I doubt whether the most evil, lost or wandering soul ever loses this hunger of desire and sooner or later it must bring him back up the steep ascent and into the farther land. Exquisite words. Damien Holland who died at 56. Today, Massachusetts' finest yogini, Gemma Tori, will take us on a journey of visualization which will embrace Yoga Nidra. But before you begin, please open sacred space and send great healing to the South American country of Brazil, now feeling the full force of COVID-19, to the Amazon rainforest, to all the animals, plants, trees, humans, sacred rivers, and indigenous tribes who live there. Please also send great healing to the soul of Damien Holland, who passed last night in his sleep, and to his family and friends, back in Lancashire, England. My brothers and sisters, the revolution has begun. Let's evolve with honour and compassion. Yours in peace and love, Peter. Namaste.